Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Guys, uh, this is Southern Tier Brewing Nitro Hot Cocoa, which is an Imperial Milk Stout. Not a big beer. Uh, this says it is 10% alcohol by volume. Uh, It says it's 9.6 fluid ounces, but it looks like a 12 ounce can to me, guys. Uh, so, uh, pour into your favorite glass or drink from the can. Uh, I would not recommend drinking any beer from the can. Uh, unless you're drinking a Miller Bud or Coors or, you know, you can drink that shit from a boot, probably. Or, or whatever, paper bag. <laughs> uh, I don't drink those beers anymore, guys. Uh, I, I don't. I just don't. Uh, they definitely do not have what I'm looking for in a beer anymore. Uh, the lagers are, especially American lagers, are very lackluster. Most of them are very big, grassy, grainy. Not something that I'm looking for in a beer anymore. Uh, I'm looking for an ale. Uh, so something that has a little more flavor, a little more taste, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, this is a nitro can, so we're going to probably pour it pretty aggressive as quick as we can into the glass to get that nitro effect. Uh, used to, they had to put some kind of nitro ball or something like that into it, but they figured out how to do this without doing that now. So, uh, this is a 10 percenter, uh, and of course, Southern Tier is up in New York, and uh, over to Untapped. They say it's 25 IBUs on this beer. Southern Tier's Blackwater Series introduces new flavor. Hot cocoa. The nitro provides a fully sensational experience that you can hear, see, and taste with rich natural chocolate and hints of marshmallow. Hot cocoa is a perfect pairing to stay warm during a cozy night. So, here we go. This is a 12-ounce can, and of course, Southern Tier uh, is, have big, deep pockets, and... Uh, this is a printed up can, guys. Uh, so, I'm going to try to get this into the glass as quick as possible after I pop the top because that nitro effect goes away. And uh, we don't want that to happen. So, here we go. Let's do it as quick as we can. Oh, listen to that. Can you hear that? That is as aggressive as I can pour that, and maybe this is a 9.6, because it didn't pour very much beer in the glass. And there is no ball or anything that houses that nitrogen cartridge, so they figured out how to do a nitrogen beer. And it does still have a nice cascading effect on the side there, as you can see. If you look closely, uh, it's almost like a black and tan there with the different aspects. Nice creamy looking head. Very, very tight bubbles around the outside of the glass there. But maybe we're doing the nitrous and that takes up some of the space that the beer normally takes up. But it didn't pour very much beer in the glass. Uh, half a glass. So it won't take me long to review this. So, uh, good looking beer. It is. It's very dark. Good looking beer, so, but not much there to the nose. Ooh, big hints of cocoa and chocolate. Maybe a hint of some coconut. A little bit of vanilla. Like that's where the marshmallows coming in at. Definitely a dessert beer. Very sweet on the nose.
25 IBUs, not very bitter as far as IBUs. Big time cocoa and chocolate notes. Smells very, very tasty. This is like a candy bar in a glass on the nose. Wow. Dessert. Yeah. Final beer of the evening. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Oh, yeah. That is tasty. Wow. That is a candy bar in a glass, guys. Wow. Cocoa and chocolate and vanilla. Maybe a slight hint of some coconut. That is super sweet. That is a candy bar. Wow. That is de that's delicious. I don't get to eat candy bars anymore, guys. Wow. That is very, very tasty. That should have been in a big 16-ounce can instead of this little... It looks like a 12-ounce can, but uh, it says it's only 9.6 fluid ounces. So, evidently, that nitrogen is taking up some of that space in the can to be able to, uh, to do its little nitrogen thing there. So, looks like a 12-ounce can, but you're not going to get 12 ounces, as y'all can see. I mean, it's half a glass. Well, outstanding aroma. Wow. That is an awesome tasting beer, guys. I'm just sad that I'm only getting 9.6 ounces in a 12-ounce can. Outstanding aroma. It is very, very pleasant to smell. It's like I've got a, a melted candy bar in the glass. That's exactly what it smells like, guys. Big time chocolate notes and cocoa. Mm. Mm. That is super delicious. That is definitely a dessert beer. It would go very well with any chocolate dish. Wow. Super tasty. Super sweet. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. And look at the creaminess. It is very creamy mouthfeel. Very smooth, very easy drinking. The alcohol at 10% is basically non-existent. Wow. Absolutely delicious. Well guys, it won't take me long. Uh, as, as much as I like to sip on these styles of beers for a long time, let them come up to room temperature, you can see don't have very much left here. So let me sip on this for a little bit and then we'll come back and give it a great. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, I've been sitting on it about 30 minutes or so with the small amount that I've got. This is a 12 ounce can, but it's only got 9.6 fluid ounces in it because the space I have definitely got to leave for the nitro uh, to do its thing. Uh, so, and it cost me $4.39 for this can of beer. Uh, I don't think that it's worth that much money for 9.6 fluid ounces, but it is a very, very, very tasty beer. It's a candy bar in a glass, guys. So, if you don't have a problem with that, uh, it is a very tasty beer to purchase and buy, especially if you like the style and if you want a big, sweet, dessert-type candy bar in a glass-type beer. Uh, it's very, very enjoyable, guys. Uh, on the bottom of it, it has uh, 12, 11, and 19 uh, written on it. It had been a 10% uh, stout, imperial stout. Uh, it's going to keep for a while, probably. Uh, so, uh, it is a very tasty beer, very enjoyable beer. But I'm a little disappointed in how much space the nitro uh, takes up in the can uh, to get uh, their little creaminess and that aspect uh, to the beer which it was and it is very creamy and very pleasing and very nice mouthfeel to it and it is a candy bar in a glass guys and no doubt about it it is very sweet a very dessert type imperial stout the cocoa and the chocolate is definitely present it is very tasty very enjoyable I did enjoy this the alcohol is very well hidden 
you could get in trouble drinking more than one of these uh, if you're not drinking them at home. So please be responsible. Drink at home. If you're drinking this out somewhere, make sure you have a designated driver. Final chug. Still, awesome aroma. Absolutely. Smells like a candy bar. I smell like I'm putting my nose on a candy bar, guys. Mmm. Delicious. That is one damn tasty candy bar beer. Uh, to me, guys, uh, I think it's a little pricey for the amount of beer that you're actually going to get in your glass, but it is a very, very well-made beer, and it is a, I'm not going to say it's outstanding, but it is pretty damn tasty. To me, guys, dates on it, the, uh, ABV is on it. Uh, just be aware, you're not going to get 12 ounces in this can. It looks like a 12 ounce can, but you're not going to get that. Other than that, it is very tasty. Uh, 9 out of 10 for me, guys. I'm going to give it a 97. It is pretty damn tasty. Just a little disappointed that I only got 9.6 fluid ounces out of a 12 ounce can. I've said that. Y'all get that. Y'all get it? You get it? Uh, over to Bear Advocate, they say 91 outstanding. Um, over to Untapped. Untapped has it at 4.24. Excellent numbers from both of those sites, guys. And good number for me, too. Uh, I did enjoy this beer. So, if you've had the Southern Tier Brewing Nitro Hot Cocoa uh, Imperial Milk Stout. Milk Stout, use lactose. Gives it a little more sweeter taste. Definitely. A very nice dessert beer. Final beer of the evening for me, and I enjoyed it. May even pick up another one of these, or maybe even more of that. But the only hesitant I have is I'm only, I'm only going to get 9.6 fluid ounces on a 12 ounce can for four dollars and forty cents a can. So uh, if you uh, don't have a problem with that, pick you up some of it. Yeah. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.